we may be about to witness the fastest Osex uh, mountain lion in stolen history. So the boot, there's nothing on this. This is just uh, the bootloader I had to use. This cable, however, is going to my install medium, which is an external 160 gigabyte Western Digital Blue drive uh, on USB 2.0. I don't know why I didn't plug into the 3.0 port because this is a 2.0 thing. I don't think it would have improved it, but I just started it. Maybe I would say um, 30, 35 seconds ago. It said 16 minutes when I started. And in 30 seconds, it went from 16 minutes remaining to 11. And uh, I think 30 seconds. A little bit over 30 seconds. Now it's at 10. And you can, like, you can see it moving live. I'm not shitting you. You can see how fast that crap is moving. So I'm installing this onto my uh, Lenovo Yoga... 13. Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga 13. It has a Core i3 in it, 4 gigs of RAM, Intel HD Graphics 4000, and I'm using the IATKOS ML. You had to download it from Torrent, then it comes in a D get the DMG file version if you want to put it on like an external hard drive to boot it off of. Otherwise you have to get like a dual layer disk if you want to get the ISO version. Get the DMG, install TransMac, and more on this later. Plug in a uh, run TransMac as administrator. Otherwise, the trial will make you. Will ca it'll count down from 15 before it'll let you run it. And if you don't run it as administrator, it'll ask you to, and then you have to wait another 15 seconds. So run it as administrator. Right click on the drive you want to format as Mac. Click format. Title it. Do all that stuff. Then right click on it again. Click restore with image. Select your DMG image that you downloaded. It will restore it. It'll be bootable. Just boot to it from the BIOS. And, in my case, it wouldn't boot without a separate EFI bootloader. But once it's installed on the hard drive, I'm thinking it'll work. And dang, it's, no, this video, 2 minutes, 32 seconds exactly right now, uh, a couple seconds ago. And it said 11 minutes when it started, it's down to 6, and 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Okay, the power button's kind of broken on this one just worn uh so yeah this thing has four gigs of ram intel hd graphics 4000 core i3 i put windows 7 on and i'm do i'm gonna dual boot windows 7 and and mountain lion my gosh this thing is fast oh no it's not slowing down pretty much the same rate and it booted up in like 10 seconds flat okay so here we go this is a very nice laptop. The touchscreen is unfortunately, it's buggered. So I'm not gonna be given any touchscreen. I had to disconnect it internally, which is really easy to take out the screen and replace it. It just slides up and, <gasps> no way. Oh, I thought, no, the Wi-Fi on this does not work. I'm gonna have to put that in the description. Okay, and it'll boot. You select the correct drivers You go to uh, first off, when you boot it, you have to type in this flag. You have to type in capital P, capital C, capital I, capital PCI, capital R, lowercase o-o-t. So, PCI root UID equals 1 with the PCI R capitalized and the UID capitalized equals 1. That has to be a boot flag. Then you just hit enter, and dun -dun -dun, it works. It boots up in like 10 seconds if you're using this kind of a hard drive to boot off of. I have an SSD in this thing, but that's not what it's booting off. It's booting off of this mechanical hard drive back here. Verbatim. It's not what I, I changed the hard drive in it. I had a 250. I changed it to 160 because I wanted to upgrade one of my laptops. I just switched it out. Uh, it's a better drive in there now, though. You don't really need this if your if your computer supports it. I don't know why mine wouldn't do it. But this looks snappy enough. I could use this as the main operating system on this thing. Feel this. Look at this. Look at the snappiness. Wow. 
touchpad works. It's, I don't know about scrolling, because when I do two fingers, the mouse pointer does still move. Two minutes now. Oh my god, that's impressive. So, yeah. About. 49.1. It's, uh, it's legit, guys. This is not a virtual machine. This is straight off of the BIOS. This is, this is booted to this. This is not on a virtual machine. Do not think it is. It's not. I swear to God it isn't. If I go up here, there's no menu for VMware or virtual box. I'm gonna do all, I would do all control delete, but I don't know if that does anything on Max. I don't know if it'll reboot it, if it has some special coding in there somewhere. So, uh... Let me see if audio works. No. No brightness either, but wow. And once it boots, you just go to the drive, uh, go, uh, utilities, disk utility, format your hard drive with Mac OS extended journal, name it Macintosh SSD if you're using this, or Macintosh HD. And then, you can next, next, agree, uh, select the drive, customize down here, hit the customize button, you have to. Then go up here, go to... I think it's like bootloader options, and in that menu, I think it's something like that. I like to select use original Apple logo. It just changes the bootloader; so it doesn't have this in the middle of it. Um, and I also select PCI root minus uh, one. The dash is equal. So click on select those two. You won't have to type in any more flags after this, I don't think. And then once that's done, you go down here to drivers. Go to Intel, go to Intel HD 4000, the one that, the only one that says two ports, you got to, uh, select that one. I think that's the one. And this is done now. And then you're done with that. You just click done, and you hit install. And then this is where you end up. I hope it works. I might have to use the bootloader still. Nope, it's working! Oh my god. So I hit enter. Macintosh SSD. I might have to type in the boot flag. I Again, I'm not positive if that's required or not at this point. So this is going to be even snappier than doing it off that external one. Because it's an SSD. A very snappy SSD. It's, I think it's like NVMe or something like that. I don't know if this is going to do the uh, kernel panic or anything, or if it's going to do the boot has failed and I have to type in the thingy. I hope it won't. I sincerely, sincerely hope it won't. Um. Um. Maybe it's just because it's the first to boot. It did not take this long to boot off of that external hard drive. I swear to you guys. I swear to you. Did I see that flash? I swear I thought I did. Huh. Oh! Oh, yes, it worked. Holy freaking crap. Okay, no audio drivers, but that's a small price to pay, guys. You have Mac on here. Completely straightforward, guys. So no Wi-Fi. I'm going to use an external Wi-Fi adapter, which should be compatible with Mountain Lion easily, because it's compatible with Snow Leopard. Where's that? Yeah, whatever. Using DHCP. Yep, yep, yep. And then continue. And, lo and behold, it should, in theory, oh, just, uh, okay, guys, so just say this for now. Say my computer does not connect to the internet if there's no ethernet, since this laptop doesn't have any ethernet. Then it'll work. Then you hit continue. Continue. Agree. Let me type in my stuff here. 
Jacob Long. Account name. I need to have a capital letter in there. Am I allowed to? Yes. I uh, used to not be able to. So, by the way, everything is working at this point. All the keyboard is working. So it doesn't do backspace. If you hold down backspace, it doesn't delete as fast as on Windows. I think that's with all Macs, though. Same as Apple account as February 2017. And so, guys, it's creating my account. So, I, we have to select here if you're in the New York area. Oh, it already did that for me. Nice. Continue. Start using your Mac. And, guys, just like that. You have Mac OS X Mountain Lion on your Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga 13. And just to prove that this is real, guys, I'm going to upload a part two. Yeah, that's right. A part two to this video. I'm going to be installing all of my Mac software and shite on this. And it should work because it's awesome. Okay, so... I will catch you dudes in the next video. Um, so guys, brightness control doesn't work. Volume, these volume buttons do work, but I have to install a Voodoo HDA driver. But guys, look at this. So let's see how fast it opens up system prefs. Pretty snappy. Um, I would say do this. Do this, do this, do this. So catch you in part two, which I will be uploading today as well, I think. Hopefully. So I'm going to upload this, then I'm going to do part two. Just because... My uploads take forever on this stupid thing. So, catch you in the next video, guys.